Those feels and emotions when you heard Urza, like at the end of this chapter, after everything like that, that was true fucking emotions right there from like Fairy Tale right there. Actually, give me a moment for Urza that I generally absolutely loved in the like series and all that. And it's been a while since I've felt that with Urza, but this chapter actually did it and the huge revelation between her and Irene. Definitely, this is definitely focusing on Urza today. So from what we got to see from last week's chapter, we definitely saw as well like Urza taking the hit and just seeing her hands just completely fucked up and she's just crying and she's just like, what are you idiots doing? Like, what are you doing? And just like Natsu as he's just looking at her immediately it's just like, as his arms are like still like it transformed to this like horrid state and it's just like Urza was crying shaking and crying like a baby like thinking all that times and all that I don't want to ever see that face again and it's just like thinking more of it and it's just like when she just slaps those two and it's just like take a good look tell me is what you see and all that I don't know what the hell is going on right here I don't know what you two have to like settle and everything but that's history that all of us like you know never forget that history that we share all of it and you see all the times of them as like kids in the guild like fighting and playing and it's just like listen well you little brats and, like, and you see like Makarov and all that and saying like you know this is what it means to be a family and all that like fighting and all sort of being there for each other and like seeing Nazi like uh, being like you know just stopping after everything like finally seeing that like, the claws it seems like it disappears like for a while and all that if like Nazi has a control and he let go of his anger that's sort of something that he's able to do but like the bit that got me was when like she grabbed both of them I uh, grabbed her to her chest and she's like, I love you two with every fiber of my being. I love you two kids. Like that is like, that was like, absolutely, it like, was absolutely a fucking great moment for her. Like after everything, it's just like stopping this fight. And she's just like, no, not these two. These two are like brothers to me. And it's like, you know, I, like as a big sister, I have to stop these two and all that. But, like I can't lose anyone else today. And seeing that like... That moment was kind of, I guess, a little bit small by, like, Julia immediately arriving. I would have liked it if she kind of arrived a little bit later on, but, like, the spoilers already told us that she was going to be coming back for the most part. But she's like, oh, yeah, Julia's seen better days. And just see Grey, like, the way how he reacts to it, though, it's just... He's like in sheer like shock as he just drops to his knees like out of just sheer exhaustion and alongside just seeing like the girl that he cares for just completely down even Julia at this one because it's like she forced herself up and all that just to go and see him try and calm him down so I was hoping that that, that you know like was because he's named Julia or like Lucy was the one that was actually able to calm down this life so it's still a little bit weird that Urza was the one to stop this but even having those moments when like Nazi was now falling down to the gr uh, like ground and just like Lucy holding him it's just like he really you know how to make a girl worry and all that and she he just smiles as he just sees like n like happy there alongside of them and he's just like he's just doing that little <laughs> like that just happy to see like everyone's all right and it's just like you know thank god and just like Urza, you know what was all that now like just tell us and it's like we don't even have a moment to stop with that as like everyone like what we can see at the ration says that teamed up with like crime source rare are getting their fucking ass is handed to fucking August like you like see the first thing you see with August is like midnight barely able to stand up Racer and like Cobra on the fucking ground like everyone's had the shit kicked out of them and all that and generally when you see that it's like Cobra tries to get up again and it's like I can hear what you're gonna do and it's like August is like y you really think that you're the only one that's capable of doing doing that and all that hearing other actions and it's like you really it's like the fact that like when Racer's like you know how can you like deal with my speed he's like this is slow as hell and then when he like we get to see Midnight's like spiral pain go into him and it's just like eh it's a weird magic I'll give you that but it's like I'm I'm familiar with the nuances of it. It's just, this is nothing. And it's just, this is how, like, deep he knows, like, the knowledge of magic. Where it's just like, you guys think you know, like, anything? You may have mastered your magics, but I've mastered a dozen of them. And I am a fucking, the pinnacle of mages. I am, this is what the extent you can get to here. And it's like, it doesn't seem that, like, Jalal's having this fight. And I'm like, someone of, like, guild arts, like, caliber is, like, like clearly the way how to deal with this. The fact that Crime Source Rare with all the Irrational Safe members cannot deal with August is clearly showing how strong this character is. Like, the pinnacle of magic is there. And even with that, like, as we get to see, like, all the girls and all that picking up saying, like, alright, let's get everyone back. Like, we need to, like, recuperate. Fucking Irene immediately turns up and it's just, like, blows the shit out of everything. It's like, oh my god, like, what the hell's going on? She's just like, it's been too long, Urza. Like, far too long. And even Urza doesn't know who the hell she is. She's like, like, is this an acquaintance? I have no clue and all that. And it's like, even with the big reveal saying, I am you and you are me. 
Which immediately is putting us to the thing where it's like, okay, so she is she clearly saying that like she's like like from the future, like she has said uh, once before that she has used future magic. I've made the guess before that she is an elder, or like she's like maybe the mother of some kind. I'm mainly uh, suggesting that for the main reason that the fact that what exactly we saw those spoiler like when the, like the volume came out, like the original concept art of her, you know, I, even if the fact that that's not the case and all that, which it seemed like it's pinnacle, like either she's like Urza from the future, like from a different timeline, like kind of like with a future row where this Urza went bad at for some reason, or the fact that she's a completely different entity altogether, like, if that's the case, that if my theory is, like, wrong about that, like, about her being the mother, that's completely fine, I'm always, like, ever take that, but it's, like, I'm very happy with the fact that, like, you know, Ur like, Urza, especially with Eileen, has been t giving us a lot of twists in terms of exactly what she's been for the entire time, there have been guesses like, exactly that she's been a sister, an aunt, she's a relative, like, any kinds of stuff going on to it, and definitely, now is the time to get addressing The fact is, though, which, uh, a lot of people want to kind of address is the fact are they gonna fight now like where Urza is in like clearly not really that much of the condition to fight because her hands are fucked up so she's in a massive disadvantage alongside that you got Lucy there like who's like you know she may be able to back him up but do you really think like Lucy and Wendy can do anything about that like the strongest person there that's like and like, is generally Urza like Natsu's out of commission, Grey's out of commission, Judy's out of commission, like, all these people are out of commission, you just got more targets for, like, Urza to actually, like, actually be wary of, so, um, I don't know whether or not, like, what's going to be distracting Irene to get out of there, maybe the fact that Mavis might come in and try and, like, interrupt her, saying, you're the, I'm the one you want, let's get the hell out of here, or the fact that Urza is going to fight her, and I, I really want, like, that, the fact that, like, if Urza has to fight her now, I think it's better if, like, Urza recuperates after everything, and it's like, then when she comes back up full strength dealing with Irene, that's something I would really like to see, but I am very much looking forward to what the answers we're going to be getting there because I absolutely love the fact that we're getting more stuff about Irene now after all this time. Definitely showing the side where like the whole, her whole face at the end was like black and white, clearly showing that, you know, they're definitely hinting at the same, like, oh, we're the two sides of the same coin. Definitely going with that. That's what they're going with, like, the end of that chapter. It's like, we're definitely, like, we're the same, you and I. And I really hope we need some a little bit more explanation, but she could, uh, she could clearly just be saying, I am you and you and me, just to, like, fuck with her a little bit. But we need a little bit more of the answer that were exactly her the origins, but I'm finally happy that we're getting to that point in fairy tale. And generally, just like the fact that even with that, that to me is not the strongest part of the chapter, honestly. And I can't believe I'm saying that Urza was the strongest part of the chapter for me when we saw all of the like her as a little kid and all that with Natsu and after everything with like you know with END and like seeing like the times that they've enjoyed each other. And generally, like, the bit where it's like, you know, I love, it, like, I love you two bastards with every fiber of my being. Regardless, it was slightly rude a little bit. We had to get a little bit of those boobs in there. Like, it's like, like, the panel just, like, looking at each other, right? I was like, was like mm, yeah, maybe, hero, yeah, maybe not at this point in the moment. But even still, that was, like, a moment where I was like, I haven't generally felt something that Urza in so goddamn long, apart from, oh, you know, it's Urza, or here we go again, Urza, like, I, like, now it's like a moment where I, it was heartwarming, it was enjoyable, and then that moment of heart warmth just literally went down the fucking shitter as soon as Irene went, because now she has to, like, has to worry about her friends getting in danger, like, you happy, Charla, Lucy, all, you need to get everyone out of there, like, you need to, they need to bail out of there, and the fact that is, like, we haven't got a moment to either, like, take a breath because we've got Irene on this side and all that and we've got August taking out Jalal and the rest of the like the crown source rare people it's like we've got some like ma massive things going down with that so definitely the fact that we're needing those S classes guild arts you're gonna have to need to deal with August you're clearly the one that hasn't taken that much battle damage you are the one that can deal with August you're on that pinnacle level of magic we haven't even seen like or like at this point in like guild arts we need to see him go fully out the fact that he's like someone that had like had a little tassel with Acnologia and came out of it that's clearly Really something that could only deal with that. And then Urza, Urza needs to address Irene. Like, definitely that's her fight to do, and I'm looking forward to whenever that's going to be happening and all that. With the fact with the next chapter being called, like, from what we got to see, like, definitely the hint of it with pleasure and agony. So, I think the next chance is definitely going to get, like, a full explanation of what exactly is with, like, I being fully. And what do you think, uh, you guys think? Do you think she's future Urza and all that? The future magic for a while was talking about it. Alongside, like, you, do you think she's a daughter? Do you think from the future timeline? Do you think she's a mother? Like, where do you think that's going and all that? Or do you think she is Urza, like, future Rogue Wars and all that? Like, or it's a different, like, parallel version of her, like, in a, in a world where everything went fucked up. So I'm very curious to see, like, what's going to be happening in the next, like, chapter of Fairy Tale. Very excited. And definitely 
only honestly taken away by like Urza, where I was like, yeah, hero, like I know hero, like yeah, like Urza is like his favorite character, but Jerry, that moment where she was like t uh, telling them, I love both of you with every fiber of my being, and like becoming that motherly big sister figure, and like this show signs to come with her, hopefully like inheriting the guild master, like like and actually picking up like from that mantle, like you know Makarov left. So definitely really love that part of the chapter, and I cannot wait for more Irene in the future. But that is all from me, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you much for watching. As always, let me know what you guys think in the conversation down below. I will see you guys, though, next time.